First, grease your 10 by 15 inch jelly pan, then cut parchment paper to fit it, leaving one inch hanging over the short ends, and then grease it one more time. Whisk together 3 fourths a cup of flour, one cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of cinnamon, three eggs, and two thirds a cup of canned pumpkin. Now spread your batter evenly, making sure it touches all four corners of your prepared pan. Bake it at 350 degrees for 14 to 15 minutes. Sprinkle powdered sugar over a dish towel and then flip over your cake onto it and be very careful when you peel off the parchment paper. Then start at the long side and roll it up firmly and refrigerate it until it is completely cool. In a stand-up mixer, mix together eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, one tablespoon of melted butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now whisk in one cup of powdered sugar and whisk it until it's the consistency that you want it at. Carefully unroll your pumpkin roll and make sure that it has cooled completely. Then spread the frosting over it and roll it back up and refrigerate it until it's firm for at least an hour. Then enjoy.